May 13, 1864. Union soldier Private William Christman is laid to rest on a plot of land just south of the nation's capital. 150 years later, Christman rests besides more than 300,000 of his brothers in arms. Hi, I'm Corporal John Tucker, and I'm here at the nation's most hallowed ground, Arlington National Cemetery, where service members who have served throughout the ages have been buried since 1864. Several Marine Corps legends, like Lieutenant General John A. Lejeune, can be found within Arlington's walls. Lejeune, famous for leading troops in both the Spanish-American War and World War I, solidified his legacy within the Marine Corps with his historic birthday message. One thing every Marine has in common is that no matter where they are or what they do, they hear the same message every Marine Corps birthday. But we're not, Cap Washington's not necessarily part of us. We had a chance to speak so, with cemetery curator Roderick Gaynor who spoke of why this cemetery is important to our nation. I think it's among, if not the most sacred shrine. It's where its military heroes, many of its best, are, are interred. Um, and when you think uh, Arlington, you think two things really. Honor, I think first and foremost, and second of all, tragedy. There's something sad, always sad, about you know, young people serving their country cut off in the prime of their life. You, you think about war and how death is always involved in war, but it's only when you come to a place like this that you really get like the full depth of it. Like, mm -hmm. You know, you see 300,000 graves in one place and it just really hits home. Absolutely. The cemetery is the final resting place of heroes both past and present, like Gunnery Sergeant John Bazelon, who died while fighting on Iwo Jima in World War II, and heroes of a more recent generation. Heroes like Major Douglas Zembiek, who during his four combat tours to Iraq, earned nicknames like the Lion of Fallujah and the Unapologetic Warrior, he was killed in Baghdad in 2007 while conducting combat operations. Our last stop today is this Lebanese cedar tree, planted in memorial of all of those killed in the Beirut barracks bombing in 1983. Among those killed were 220 Marines. Their service and sacrifice is not forgotten. 